Concettina Sfierti is a professor at the University of Mainz. When she is not busy lecturing, she performs research at the Mainz Microtron, MAMI, and prepares experiments for the new particle accelerator, FAIR, in Darmstadt. She concentrates on a particular question that may at first sound trivial. Why does an apple weigh approximately 150 grams and not instead much less? Uh, the central topic of my research is the secret of the mass. Objects in nature are heavier than they should be. So, for example, one question is, how does a proton get its mass? She is not the only nuclear physicist interested in answering this question. She is part of an international collaboration attempting to solve the riddle of the proton's mass and thus to explain the mass of everything in the world. Sfierti describes what they are looking for. So inside a proton, we have three quarks. Now, if we think about just as if the proton is made just of the three, three quarks, we will never find the mass of the proton. The proton weighs much, much more. Now, our understanding of the moment of how this proton is made is like we have, together with the three small quarks, this kind of sticky substances, which we call gluons. And now it's like you would have the proton with the three quarks here, and then all this sticky stuff all around, and then what at the end of the day you measure is a proton, which is a, a very heavy object, heavier than the three quarks, and it looks like these. And now, of course, you can say, okay, if you have these sticky green substances, which you call gluons, and it just stay like there, where we could also imagine that these gluons together make a particle like this one, and that is an object which is just made out of glu gluons, and that is what we call glue balls. Now, we never measured such an object, that would be just great, and that is what, what, what we want to do at the Panda experiment at FAIR. The ingredient for this experiment is antimatter, or more specifically, antiprotons. To create antimatter, scientists allow highly intense beams of protons to collide with a target plate. From the energy released in this collision, oppositely charged matter and antimatter are created, among other reaction products. The antiprotons are filtered out with a special apparatus and are then directed toward the detector. In science fiction, spaceships are driven by antimatter. The energy for the propulsion is created when antimatter and matter meet. The two annihilate one another, and all that is left is the energy that was locked inside. But this is not science fiction, as scientists at Panda use this process to create new matter. So, how are we going to produce glue balls? Here you see a proton target, and now antiproton will come from the left side and they will collide with protons. Now, where antimatter touches matter, everything is converted in energy. And out of this energy, we will also produce glue balls. Now, all around this target, we will have a big detector, the panda detector. And now, this detector will tell us what has happened. The panda detector weighs 700 tons, as much as four jumbo jets or seven blue whales, and is composed of a variety of measuring instruments and magnets. The instruments record, for example, how heavy and how fast the particles are that are created from the energy of the collision. So that the detector is ready when the accelerator is put into service, scientists are already testing and developing parts of the instruments, for example, special crystal rods. These allow particular kinds of particles to be registered, in that a flash of light is emitted when the particle meets the rod. The crystal will be placed inside the panda detector in the position I have shown you, so that, like in optical fibers, light will be transferred from inside to outside, and then we can see what happened. One terabit of data is created every second during this process, a veritable flood of data. But the scientists know exactly what the signs are that indicate the creation of a glue ball. So thanks to Panda, we will measure for the first time glue balls, and therefore we will uncover the secret of mass. And then moreover, at FAIR, we will have for the first time ever the highest intensity antimatter beam, and that will uncover many more secrets, and that will be great physics. 
Thus, with antimatter, we can investigate how gluons give mass to an apple. And the panda experiment will tell us even more about gluons, how they stick quarks together to form protons and thus hold the world together at its heart.